Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make some more flowers for your greenhouse. Okay, so what I did is the last time in the first two parts I showed you some flowers and um, stuff from Walmart and Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. Well, today I got this little arrangement, which I've already started breaking apart. It had these on here from the Joanne Fabrics, and it looked like this. So we're going to make some stuff with that. And the first thing you need to do is you need to pull them apart to get that tape off of there because it just looks ridiculous for a miniature to have that tape on there. It comes off pretty easy. I'm sorting all of my stuff too, if you notice, individually. And then these I got at Hobby Lobby last year. I had some left over, so they're just like some roses that you can use. Again, just pull off all that tape that's like the floral tape. Some have it, some don't. So it's just, you're gonna have to just look. Some of the leaves are more like a foam or something. I don't know, I'm not really sure. It feels like foam anyway. But they just pull right out of there, just like that. And then these guys pull out as well. And then you just separate it and then you end up with those leaves and then what you're going to do is you're going to take these and you're going to cut them off I'm using wire cutters or you can use snips as well and this is just a spring floral arrangement. It was $2.99 at Joann's. Here, I'll put it up there in case maybe you can order it online by that SKU. All right, so for the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna use these here. I just think they're pretty. I don't know why, I just think they're really, really pretty. But in order to use those, we're gonna need some really tall arrangements in the back. So I'm gonna take the glue gun and I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue in here. And again, you gotta let the glue cool down just a little bit in order to actually put the stuff in there because it'll end up being too hot and it'll just melt your arrangement before you can do anything. So I don't know if you watch part one, two, but these are some leaves that I got off of some of the ones that I had done yesterday and then I just cut them off and they are really super tiny which is perfect for miniature while that's drying so you can see that but for this one we're gonna go ahead and take this it's feeling a little bit cool it's coming out the bottom there the bottoms getting pliable so it's probably almost cool enough you see I just kind of just rolled on my skin I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down in here like this. I'm gonna stick that one down in there. It's got a little bit of a curl, which is fine. So I'm gonna kinda actually push that one down a little bit further. And then I think I'm gonna put one more back here. It's still a little warm because it's moving the plants around a little more than I would like. And then this we're gonna push down there, that way we don't see that paper that's on there. And same way with that one. And then we're going to put another one of these. Maybe if there's a shorter one, if not, we will just cut one. So I don't see a shorter one, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut one, just like that. Because I don't want it quite as tall. So we're going to just kind of put it right down in there and then because it's still hot these are still moving around so we're just going to kind of squish them together just like that still has paper on it Then we're going to take this one. I want to make this just a tiny bit shorter. So we're going to cut some of that off of there. Push 
push that right down in there. Squeeze it together on the end. Pull off any of the excess glue as long as it's not too hot. Be careful not to burn yourself. And if you want to do a couple more short leaves, you can while it's still hot, but I think I'm okay with it like that. I do need to peel off this so the, where it came out a little bit because it's having a hard time sitting flat. But there's how I would make that using that. And I got um, $2.99 and there's just one flower for $2.99 that I was able to make from that one arrangement. Um, this I had, if you don't have any, um, you can use caps, lids, pretty much anything. These little guys here, I got those, um, I ended up buying like 8,000 of them. So I could use them for sand buckets for the kits. So I decided to use them as well for the arrangements that I'm doing. If you like those and you would like to get those, um, let me know and I'll put some on my Etsy shop. All right, so then you have a lot more of these that you can make another one just like that, or you can just kind of like group them together and make a tall plant that's just kind of standing up. You can do one or two, you can do a group of them, have them going out like that. If you heat it up a little bit, you can get the leaves to bend a little bit more if you want to do that. You can also cut them down and just use the tops of them. It's completely up to you on what you want to do. All right, so for the next one, we're going to do sort of the same thing, but we're going to do it in this container. And what this container is, it's a scoop from a formula. So if you know anybody that has a baby and they have um, these little scoops, they come in every can of formula you get. You just cut the side of it off, and um, I'll show you real quick how I do that. I just go right along the edge with this kind of knife here. I keep my fingers far away from it. And then I cut that off, and then I go back over it, and I get that little edge off of there. You can sand it down and then paint it. And then you have the scoop. As long as you paint it or turn it around, you don't see where the handle actually was. So I've went ahead and put some glue in here, but because these are plastic, you gotta remember to do a little bit of glue at a time so you don't melt the bottom of this. It's not meant for heat and hot glue gets very, very hot. But as you can see, the glue is turning of a color um, other than clear. So it's kind of getting like a whitish tint to it. And it's harder to move around in there. So it's starting to cool down a little bit, which means I can start putting some of my stuff in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with the other one. Maybe I'll put this one back here first. I'm going to take a little bit of this and cut it off because I don't want it quite as tall. And I'm going to stick it down here in the front. That way it doesn't overpower the ones that I have. And there's a little hole in the bottom to keep the formula from sticking. So you have to wipe that glue off of there, which is actually not bad because it keeps it from sliding as well once you do that. Kind of how that would look like that okay so then that's kind of what that one would look like and you can kind of mess with the leaves a little bit and turn them around facing outward if you want to or inward or you can kind of have them cross over one another and go from there but that's what that would be that would be a nice little plant for your garden or your greenhouse and if you like this greenhouse you can get it on my Etsy shop.
that one. If you don't want your plants to fall, then you need to glue them down. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take these little buckets that I had and I'm going to make a smaller plant using them. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this plant here and I'm going to cut it off right at the point where it joins together like that. I need to put a little bit of glue in here. Careful not to get my fingers this time because last time I messed with this I actually got my fingers. And I've got some here already cut. And we made these before with those leaves. So just to get a different effect, I'm going to go ahead and make a different one this time. And I've got these little teeny tiny ones and then I've got this and the last time we made like this wild little plant so this time we're going to combine the two and make a different looking plant starting to get a little cloudy there so that works for us I'm going to put this along the edge right in here I'm going to put this one right here Yeah, kind of like this here. And then we'll just go ahead and stick that in there. Squeeze it all together and it'll kind of look like that yellow plant there but with different leaves. And once it's completely dry, you can take a paint marker or a Sharpie and you can change the color of these leaves or you can use some watered down paint and drizzle on them. And then you can make a different color plant all together. But there it is, just slightly different, just a little bit variation of what we did here and what we did here. And it just looks like a different plant. And again, once you paint these a different color, then you've got two totally different plants because the color will be different. You can also take those and you can do the same thing with the bigger plant leaves. I'll sit that down. I'm actually going to do a couple of them while I have it here so they can be cooling. And then we'll make a bigger arrangement as well. This one takes a lot more glue because it's a lot wider, but that's okay. So we'll let that cool off some. We have our different plant leaves. We have this. Of course, I've got glue on the table. None of my table surfaces are nice, just so you know, because I'm just a messy person when it comes to doing crafting. All right, so this one we're gonna go ahead and take down to there and make a little bit taller of a plant. And for this, we're just going to, when it's cool, we're gonna just do one single one in there going up and then later on we can add little different color flowers so they're like we did with the other ones so for instance like we have all of these little things here we can go ahead and just get some hot glue on there and you can just stick it right on there like that and make it look like it's a flower
these are just the Dollar Tree plants. came off. That one looks like it's probably the coolest for that one. So we're just gonna stick that right down in there, just like that. And then there you have the same plant that we did here with a different look to it. And you can be more designed um, or more creative if you like, just use your creativity. But those are three different plants with the same leaves. And then we have these little flowers here that we can also use in a bunch using some leaves. Now because these are kind of prickly, I think I like this plant leaf a little bit better. And this one was from Hobby Lobby. And the arrangement before I pulled it apart, you can see the beginning stages of that arrangement, what it looked like originally on the very first video that I did. I'm just kind of tucking that under and pushing it back in there so it kind of stays in there and separates the three right there. But there you have that. And then you can take one of these little flowers and once it's all cool and it kind of wants to stay in place, which right now everything wants to move, you can actually glue a flower onto one of the higher ones if you like. just like that. I don't remember what I paid for these. Um, I think I bought these when I walked you guys through Hobby Lobby that one day on one of the videos and I was showing you the different types of flowers that you could get and use for miniature. So look at that video and you'll probably see what these works. I don't remember. Or you can just swing by Hobby Lobby. I'm sure they still have them. They're too pretty to get rid of. But there you have like a little flower with um, arrangement with little roses. And this is getting to where it's it was pretty pliable so it's going to be hard to mess with. That's definitely too pliable. It got hard too fast. So we're just going to reheat that up. Now 
and that works for me. We already used that one. So I think we'll use this one for now. If you hear that noise in the background, that is my son throwing the lax ball on his bounce back. So sorry if that's distracting. And I will probably go back and paint some of these so that I don't have all yellow in my um, arrangements. Because we definitely don't want to have all of the same exact color flower pots. And again, I will also paint these little balls different colors so they look like different flowers. And there you have that one. A little bit different than that, a little bit different than that, and when you add some paint to it then it'll be a different flower color. So you can still use all of it and still get a different arrangement out of it. I did just like the little bunch of roses, so I'm going to do just a little bunch of the roses by itself. I don't want to touch that because I'm quite sure that's hot so I'm just going to use this to push it down in the glue even though it's not that hot it's still hot enough then I'm going to pull them out of the way and I'm going to add just a tiny bit more glue in there not too much because I don't want to melt my leaves but just enough to where I can put one of these in the center And then there it will stay just like that with a beautiful little bunch of roses. And it'll be a smaller bunch than the one that we did previously. And you know, this one's pretty hard, so we can go ahead and add our next layer to make it higher up. This one can be a different type of arrangement for a taller and a bigger flower that has like a taller backing to it. So like we haven't used these yet, so these will probably be a pretty decent one to do. And this one came off of a Dollar Tree arrangement. So definitely before you go and spend a lot of money, check your local dollar store. because they usually have little arrangements that has teeny tiny flowers in there. And check your Walmart. Walmart also has a, you know, a good bit of a selection. So for this one, I'm going to stick this in the middle because it's kind of got like a little sprouty type thing. And because this is bending that way, I want to put that face in outward. And, you know, we can rearrange them and make them stand up a little bit better once we get further involved. Again, this one we're going to put right there. And then the one that's bending outward, we're going to have that bending outward. Put that 
that one in there. And I don't even know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. And this one, we're actually going to have bending inward. That way, when we go to bunch it up, it kind of fills in that center part that we just did. So that's going to be like that. I'm going to turn it around, see what it looks like. It's not quite cool enough yet to keep it to where it's pliable. So this one, we're going to just kind of let it bend upward. When it's pliable, we're going to squish it all together like that and let it cool off the rest of the way. And then it should stand and then you'd have a nice little basing you can take a piece of paper and wrap it around here and give this a ring like this one here has at the top you can do that if you want to add some flower arrangements in there like we did with this you can do that or like those or you can just keep it as is i'm kind of just going to keep this as a green leaf plant because i kind of like it that way However, I am going to snip this piece right here off because I don't like how that's sticking out. And then I'm going to put this one down in the bottom. So it has a shorter version there sitting in the front. 